Hello guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Today I'm going to show you our new product. This is the EH2000. Well, as you can see, the EH2000 is a camera and a gimbal right here, already loaded on our Gaia 100 hexacopter. Well, it has so many features. Well, just to check the appearance. It features a 3 axis gimbal stabilization and also it features a 20 megapixel very high resolution photos. Well, it has an inner core of Sony camera, so it can take so high resolution photos and also good videos. Well, since it's using a Sony core, so all the Sony camera lens can be replaced and installed on the camera and the gimbal right here. Well, also let's check. Uh, now we have it loaded on the Gaia 100, the hexacopter. Well, you can see the whole gimbal and camera are is supported by four very soft damper balls, so giving the camera and gimbal very good stabilities. Uh, not to mention the Sony camera is a features very good uh, image stabilization, so it's adding more stabilization to the image video or the photos. Well, you can see here we have a small model just the inside of this carbon board. Well, the EH series cameras are from Foxtech features the Ethernet connection function. Well, we just checked the laptop over there. Well, today we used the VD16 radio controller, and actually this is a video uh, radio controller features the video function. And uh, now it features the Ethernet connection. So uh, the camera output the video and also the data coming from the Ethernet cable to the radio receiver and then to the transmitter and then transmit to the laptop. So as you can see, all the images, all the data coming from the camera and with very, very good latency. And uh, let's see, around 0.2 seconds is very, very good. So that's the radio and then a laptop and then the hexacopter and the EH2000. Okay, in case you want to check your roof or you check the power line or those uh, wind turbines and you want to take a very high resolution photos with a very good system and very lightweight and the EH2000 is your choice because it only features a very lightweight only up to 335 grams yeah, with so many features. Well, the EH2000 features exchangeable lens, so I am going to show you a bad example because we already have the gimbal powered up, but uh, to show the lens can be quickly detached, I'm going to remove the lens, but this is the bad example, bad example, okay? But uh, I think it should be fine. Well, just to check inside, you can see, well, it has a very big, very big sensor, and also you can see the lens it can be removed quickly and you can change other kinds of lens on it. So as you can see, the lens can be quickly detached and you can change to other lens. If you want to add those filters to make the video or the photo better, you can add it here so it can adapt to all kinds of uh, lens and cameras coming from Sony as long as it's an e-socket. Well, the EH2000 is also suitable for mapping. You can see I just use one switch uh, in the laptop in the software so I can make it facing down and it's a face down uh, mode. So you can see it is a three axis gimbal stabilization so um, no matter how I move the hexacopter it is still facing down giving you a very good opportunity to take perfect mapping videos and also the we have the automatic landing gear here so you can uh, retract landing here and uh, leaving you a very vast area to take the video and also take the photos. Well, a great feature is the GPS tag in the photo. Uh, it's possible to read the uh, GPS uh, coordinate coming from this GPS through the PixHawk, through the MapLink. So it can inject the GPS coordinate into the photos it takes. So after that, for the later process function, the later process work, it makes it very easy because the photos are already coming with the GPS coordinate. Well, another amazing feature of the EH2000 is it's a pan axis can rotate 360 degrees, meaning it can rotate and with, without any stop. This is a great feature if you want to track a target. Yes, I have to mention it also has the target tracking function. Well, it can turn like this way. So 
if you want to uh, just resume it to face forward, there's a key in the app, so you, in the application on the laptop, so you just click, so you can face forward. And then still some um, keys, some uh, keys on the, on the laptop that you can use directly to zoom in, zoom out, and you can use these arrows to control the face down, face up, and rotate. Well, you can even set a lot of uh, parameters uh, similar to the uh, motor speed of the gimbals and also the video resolution and similar things inside of the software that provide uh, with the EH2 sudden that you can control it in the laptop directly through the Ethernet cable here like this. Uh, there are two ways to control the camera gimbal to control the EH2 sudden. One is by the software from the laptop uh, through the Ethernet cable and the other way is directly do by the moving the sticks on the remote controllers. There are so many functions, so uh, you should have a very good radio with so many channels, so you can uh, use all the functions. For example, you can choose to use the VD16 that features 2 km or to 4 km long range um, wireless transmission, I mean the data, the RC radio signals, and also the videos can be transmitted within 3 to 4 kilometers and the video resolution is not bad. So it's very, very nice combo as you'll see here. Also, this is a brief introduction about our features of the EH2 Southern. It features a very good resolution, 20 mega, a replaceable lens, and also even its whole gimbal and body can be replaced and swapped with the EH314. It's another, another 4K camera and gimbal from us. And also, it features the GPS tag and the good for the mapping. Also, it has a very, very good features about lightweight, a good image stabilization, and also other functions. And I hope you like this one. And uh, if you want to buy this one, I suggest you to use it in those uh, jobs like inspection or mapping, and uh, where you want to take those high resolution photos. You should have it. Okay, if you want to buy the EH2000, you can go to our website, which is the foxtechfv.com, and uh, then you can find our YouTube and the Facebook and the Twitter quite interesting. I hope you like them and subscribe us. Thanks for watching, and see you in next video.